some 1,500 light years from Earth, a mystery of stellar proportions is playing out. A singular star out there captured scientists and the public's imagination in September 2015 with its strangely fluctuating brightness. Called KIC 8462852, also known as Tabby's Star, the object has experienced unusual dips in brightness. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope even observed dimming of up to 20% over a matter of days. No other star out of more than 200,000 that Kepler measured during its original four-year mission behaves in exactly this way. In addition, the star has had much subtler, but longer-term, enigmatic dimming trends, with one continuing today. None of this behavior is expected for normal stars slightly more massive than the Sun. Speculations have included the idea that the star swallowed a planet that is unstable, and a more imaginative theory involves a giant contraption, or megastructure, built by an advanced civilization, which could be harvesting energy from the star, and causing its brightness to decrease. A new study suggests that the cause of the dimming over long periods is, likely, an uneven dust cloud moving around the star. Researchers found less dimming, in the infrared light from the star, than in its ultraviolet light. Any object larger than dust particles, would dim all wavelengths of light equally, when passing in front of Tabby's star. This pretty much rules out, the alien megastructure theory, as that could not explain the wavelength-dependent dimming. Based on the strong ultraviolet dip, the researchers determined the blocking particles must be bigger than interstellar dust, small grains that could be located anywhere between Earth and the star. Such small particles could not remain in orbit around the star, because pressure from its starlight would drive them farther into space. Dust that orbits a star, called circumstellar dust, is not so small it would fly away, but also not big enough to uniformly block light in all wavelengths. This is currently considered the best explanation, although others are possible. While study authors have a good idea why Tabby's star dims on a long-term basis, they did not address the shorter-term dimming events that happened in three-day spurts in 2017. They also did not confront the mystery of the major 20% dips in brightness that Kepler observed while studying the Cygnus field of its primary mission. Previous research with Spitzer and NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer suggested a swarm of comets may be to blame for the short period dimming. Comets are also one of the most common sources of dust that orbits stars, and so could also be related to the long period dimming. Astronomer Jason T. Wright and others who have studied Tabby's star have suggested that if the star is younger than its position and speed would suggest, then it may still have coalescing material around it. Other potential explanations are A ringed planet, and asteroids orbiting the star, a planet being torn apart and shallowed by a star, a burned-out star, 